What if I told you that Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, had more than one brush with death long before his final day in 1977? We all know Elvis as the larger-than-life performer, but few realize just how many close calls he faced throughout his life. Moments where everything could have come crashing down in an instant. From plane malfunctions to near overdoses, these near-fatal events could have changed the course of music history forever. Could you imagine a world where Elvis's career had been cut short years before his legacy was solidified? Stay with us as we dive into the shocking truth. You won't believe what the king survived. 6. The early car crash in 1956, Elvis Presley was on the rise, captivating audiences across the country with his groundbreaking music and electrifying performances. But during those early whirlwind days of fame, Elvis experienced a terrifying close call that could have ended everything before his career even took off. While on tour with his band, Elvis found himself in a dangerous situation on a dark and treacherous road. Driving through poor weather conditions after a show, their car nearly collided head-on with another vehicle. The band was exhausted, and the long hours on the road had taken their toll, making the dangerous drive even more perilous. According to Peter Goralnik's last train to Memphis, the car veered off at the last second, narrowly avoiding disaster. Elvis and his bandmates were left shaken, but incredibly fortunate to have escaped with their lives. This moment was a stark reminder that despite the invincible persona he projected on stage, Elvis was still vulnerable to the unpredictable dangers of life on the road. Had the crash happened just seconds later, the world might never have seen the full magnitude of Elvis Presley's legendary career. The plane engine failure. In 1967, Elvis Presley, already a global superstar, had grown accustomed to the luxury and convenience of private air travel. But on one fateful flight, what should have been a routine trip nearly turned into a disaster. While en route to a concert, Elvis and his entourage faced a harrowing moment when one of the engines on his private plane suddenly failed. The plane, which was mid-flight, began to nosedive, sending shockwaves of fear through everyone on board. Elvis, known for his cool composure, was faced with a situation that was completely out of his control. As the aircraft plummeted toward the ground, those on board braced for what they feared might be the end. According to accounts from his close friends and members of his entourage, shared in the book, Elvis, What Happened? Zerania panic filled the cabin as the pilot struggled to regain control of the aircraft. Miraculously, the pilot managed to steady the plane, pulling it out of the nosedive just in time. The near disaster left Elvis and his companions shaken but alive. Had the pilot not acted swiftly, Elvis's career and his life could have ended in an instant. This terrifying experience served as a reminder that even the king of rock and roll was not immune to the unpredictability of fate and it underscored just how close Elvis came to losing it all. The Near Overdose By 1973, Elvis Presley's life was becoming increasingly consumed by his dependency on prescription medications. The pressures of fame, combined with physical pain and emotional struggles, led Elvis down a dangerous path of over-reliance on painkillers, sedatives, and stimulants. What began as a way to manage the grueling demands of his career spiraled into an addiction that had serious consequences. One of the most terrifying moments came that year when Elvis suffered a near-fatal overdose, an event that could have ended his life long before his untimely death in 1977. On one particularly dark night, after a mix of sedatives and painkillers, Elvis was found unconscious in his hotel room, his breathing shallow and his body unresponsive. His staff, accustomed to managing these crises, rushed into action. According to interviews with his former bodyguards, especially those chronicled in Elvis, what happened? The quick intervention of his team was all that stood between Elvis and a fatal overdose. They immediately summoned a doctor, and efforts to revive him were successful, though it took time for him to regain full consciousness. This close call was a clear warning sign, but despite the gravity of the incident, Elvis's dependency on drugs continued to haunt him. The near overdose highlighted just how far his addiction had spiraled, and it was one of the many instances where Elvis's life hung in the balance. Although he survived that night, the overdose would foreshadow the struggles that would continue to plague him in the years leading up to his death. It was a reminder that even the king of rock and roll, 
beloved by millions, was fighting a personal battle that nearly cost him everything. The gun misfire at Graceland. Elvis Presley's love for firearms was well known, and his fascination with guns became a hallmark of his private life at Graceland. Despite his larger-than-life persona, Elvis often found comfort in the simple things, including collecting guns and practicing target shooting on his sprawling estate. However, one seemingly ordinary moment with a firearm almost turned deadly. In a shocking and nearly tragic accident, Elvis once fired a gun inside his Graceland bedroom, narrowly avoiding what could have been a fatal outcome. As recalled in memoirs from those closest to him, including Jerry Schilling's reflections on life at Graceland, this incident was not entirely unusual, given Elvis's tendency to handle firearms casually around the house. One evening, while holding one of his prized guns, Elvis accidentally pulled the trigger, sending a bullet flying across the room. The gun misfired unexpectedly, barely missing Elvis himself and anyone else nearby. The bullet struck a piece of furniture, causing damage but leaving everyone unharmed. The accident left those present in shock, a stark reminder of how easily tragedy could have struck. Though this wasn't the only time Elvis mishandled a firearm at Graceland, it was one of the closest calls. Despite his casual attitude toward guns, this incident revealed how dangerous his passion for firearms could be. Elvis's love for weapons was part of his rebellious persona, but the gun misfire that night underscored the fine line he often walked between his larger-than-life image and the risks that came with his unpredictable lifestyle. Those around him, including his close friends and staff, realized how lucky they were that the incident didn't end in tragedy. A haunting reminder that even in the safety of his own home, Elvis's life was always on the edge of danger. 2. The Attack at a Las Vegas Show In the mid-1970s, Elvis Presley's Las Vegas residency was one of the most highly anticipated and attended live performances in the world. His shows drew massive crowds, all eager to witness the king of rock and roll in action. However, one night, a lesser-known but terrifying incident occurred that could have ended in disaster. During one of his Las Vegas shows, an intruder suddenly rushed the stage, potentially putting Elvis's life in danger. What started as an ordinary performance quickly turned into a moment of chaos as the intruder approached Elvis, startling both the audience and the security team. As the man rushed toward Elvis, it became unclear what his intentions were. Whether he was simply an overzealous fan or someone with a more dangerous motive, the stage was swarmed with security within seconds, and Elvis's bodyguards, always vigilant, acted swiftly to subdue the intruder before he could get close enough to harm the star. Thanks to their quick reflexes, the threat was neutralized before any damage could be done. Despite the sudden disruption, Elvis remained remarkably calm. He didn't let the incident derail the performance, barely breaking his stride before continuing his set as if nothing had happened. His composure on stage masked the fact that his life had potentially been in serious danger just moments before. According to interviews with members of Elvis's security team and witnesses who attended the show, the bodyguards had rehearsed for situations like this many times, knowing that any public appearance carried some risk. This particular incident, however, highlighted how vulnerable Elvis could be, even in a controlled environment like a Las Vegas showroom. Those who were there that night often describe it as a near miss, one that could have taken a much darker turn if not for the fast action of his team. The attack was a reminder that even in his prime, performing in front of adoring fans, Elvis was not immune to the unpredictability and danger of fame. On for Hanuman. Health Crisis on Tour, 1975. By 1975, the toll that years of grueling tour schedules and drug abuse had taken on Elvis Presley's health became undeniable. Despite his declining physical condition, Elvis was determined to continue performing for his fans, but the relentless pace was pushing his body to its limits. One of the most alarming moments occurred while he was on tour, just before a concert, when Elvis collapsed backstage from sheer exhaustion and the strain of his poor health. It was a health crisis that could have ended tragically, highlighting just how fragile the king's condition had become. In Elvis, what happened? Edamarni Ray, as well as in other biographical accounts, those who were present that night, including band members and tour staff, recall the shocking scene. Elvis, moments away from going on stage, suddenly collapsed, 
his body unable to handle the stress of the performance ahead. Years of reliance on prescription drugs combined with a punishing performance schedule had weakened him to the point where even walking onto the stage was a struggle. His entourage rushed to his side with some fearing the worst, that Elvis was on the verge of a complete breakdown or even death. While the incident was quickly covered up to prevent alarming fans, it was clear to those closest to him that Elvis was in serious trouble. The collapse backstage was not an isolated event, but it was one of the clearest signs that Elvis's body was failing him. Despite regaining enough strength to eventually perform, this moment underscored the dangerous consequences of pushing himself too far. The intense combination of physical exhaustion, drug abuse, and the relentless pressures of maintaining his career were catching up to him. Those who worked with him during that period have described the backstage collapse as a turning point, one where it became painfully clear that Elvis's health was rapidly declining and that he was fighting an uphill battle just to keep his career alive. Now, I want to hear from you. Which of these close calls surprised you the most? Do you think Elvis's lifestyle played a role in these dangerous moments? Or was it simply fate that kept him going until the very end? Join the conversation in the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Whether you're a die-hard Elvis fan or just discovering his incredible life, we'd love to hear how these stories resonate with you. Let's keep the discussion going. This video was made possible thanks to your various forms of support. Simply watching it is a contribution to creating more content. And of course, there are those who contribute even more by using the thanks feature or by becoming channel members who also play a significant role. So what are your thoughts on this? Sound off in the comments section down below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for celebrity news and updates every day.